Well, it's officially go time. We're gonna try our great meal. Well, guys, got the first field mode with the new mower right here. Everything seems to be working great uh, with the mower. I got nothing to complain about. Uh, seems to be working perfectly. Never had to make any adjustments or anything like that. Uh, seems to be set up pretty good. Doing a clean cut here. Nice wind rose. Really can't complain. I just did. This piece here, we do first cut on this for silage, and we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut this one here right now. Uh, and then the cows go on pasture on this, so there's no alfalfa or nothing in it. But, uh, yeah, everything's working pretty good. Can't complain. Takes a little bit of getting used to, just, you know, you know, being a center pivot mower, we're not really used to that. That takes a little bit of figuring out itself, but just being a different mower, you get so used to one mower, where you know kind of where your tires got to be to make sure you're getting everything and you know when exactly to pull the lever to lift the mower up when you get to the end of the rows and stuff like that and it's just kind of a new a new learning experience all over again with this with the new mower and then you add on top of that it's a center pivot so i'm working my way from one side of the field to the other mowing both direct you know both directions so you pretty well get it figured out mowing with the, the mower on the left side of the tractor or the right side and then you switch to the right left side or whatever so anyway you're switching sides and it kind of screws you up a bit but anyway we're figuring out figuring things out um, it takes a fair bit of power to run it it's hard to get it spun up I don't know if there's something wrong with the PTO clutch on the weight I remember last year running the mower when you flick the PTO switch to engage, it would want to pop out, so you'd have to ram the throttle just as you're turning the knob, and it's the same thing with this one, but it takes a little bit of power to get it going, and it's all right. Uh, later on in the summer, I'll get some more videos of the mower actually in use and that. We get the drone going, all that stuff again, but we're just trying to get some stuff knocked down here so we can start first cut, and uh, I think the videos are going to be pretty minimal. So anyway, it's like 20 after 11. I want to get as much as it, much of this field done as I can before lunch, and uh, better get going, I guess.
Well, good news, that's field two. Knocked down, let's see how I made out for time. I don't know how big this is acre-wise, so it probably won't mean much to you guys. 12 o'clock, so 40 minutes. That's pretty good time, I think. Anyway, we'll uh, put this thing back in transport position and take her home. I think that's all we're gonna cut. Day. So, we'll, uh, you guys probably seen, I, I did the 360 video there, so I'll kind of edit that a little bit, but I'll miss strips when I switch, well, sometimes even, <laughs> even on the correct side, I call it that, and then when it's on the wrong side, I will, uh, it takes a little bit of figuring every time, it seems like. This piece here was kind of a pain because it's so short, it was almost not worth doing that, but... Anyway, I just wanted a little bit of practice. It seems like near the end there, I pretty well had it figured out uh, the best way, or at least seemed like the best way to do it. So anyway, it all, it'll take some practice and uh, we'll get better at it as time goes on, I guess. Might need two hands, sorry. Well, everything can't always go perfectly. I was just mowing the next piece there. I got my six outside rounds done. And I was just starting on the first, you know, first row of the main inside piece, and I got about halfway down. And I lost PTO and DynaShift on the white, so it's most likely a computer issue. I'm gonna head home now and see if we can figure it out and get back to mowing. But uh, yeah. Kind of sucks. I don't know what else we're gonna mow with. I think the 42 might be able to run it, but it won't be fun. So anyway, we better figure this out. Well, good news, we got the tractor back working yesterday. We put a different computer in it, and then the DynaShift started working. But the PTO still wouldn't work. Ended up just running a wire, bypassing the computer right to the solenoid that turns the PTO on and off, so. Not ideal, but gotta do what you gotta do. So I'll head back out here this morning and finish cutting that piece. Well guys, I wish I could say everything's going just awesome, but unfortunately I cannot say that. Uh, I only started mowing maybe 20 feet again in the same spot. I lost my, uh, well basically all the computer functions. So the computer in this thing controls stop for a minute. The computer in this thing controls your differential lock, four-wheel drive, uh, three-point hitch probably too. It looks like yeah, it's flashing something. Um, but I'm not really concerned about that. Three-point hitch, uh, four-wheel drive, diff lock, the DynaShift, the power shift transmission in it, and the PTO. So we got the PTO wired up direct to power so that can't fail on me now. But I've lost everything else. I got no power shift. I got no, another thing is the high low in the transmission to go from the high side to the low side that you need the computer for that and I can't do that so right now I'm stuck in the low side of the transmission and I'm stuck in the D range on the power shift which is the highest range so I can't use even if I want to if I stuck with the dyna shift in D I couldn't really use the, the high side of the transmission anyway so I'm using the low side of the transmission and I'm just controlling everything manually with the gears using you know second third and fourth gear I can still do that and I still got my hydraulics and stuff so I can manage the way it is but it's not ideal it's not working the way it should be um, this thing will have to get it looked at I guess uh, see if we can get it fixed but for now I can limp along like this it'll take me a little bit longer than I want uh, to get this field done but you know it is what it is uh, I'll have to just keep, keep on keeping on I guess well, I just finished this piece here beside me. It's about 10 acres, I think maybe even closer to nine, I don't know. But it's a pretty big piece. Pretty straightforward, there's just one little kind of low spot in the center of it that I had to go around, but. Same as before, I started at one side of the field and then worked my way over uh, with the center pivot. So I'm starting to kind of get the hang of it. A lot less uh, missed patches on this field. This one here has always been kind of a pain to rake. Just the way with that rough patch, when you mowed it with a conventional mower, the windrows would kind of end up being 
a little weird. Uh, and you know, it kind of divides the field up as you get kind of closer in into like three different sections basically. But I think with the center pivot, it seemed to work pretty good. Uh, we'll find out when we start raking it. But uh, I'm happy with it so far. Uh, mower's, mower's working great. I don't have anything to complain about there. Uh, it was set up perfectly by the dealer. As far as I can tell, it's not digging into the ground too hard. It's not cutting too low or anything like that. Uh, it's not, I had backed off those conditioners to see how they do on the alfalfa. And I think it's doing fine. It doesn't seem to be beating up the leaves uh, too bad on them. So I think everything is pretty good. Uh, just the issues with the tractor. Dad's, <laughs> Dad's kicking himself again uh, for selling that Challenger. It just seems like you move a tractor along and then you wish you had it. So that's kind of the case we're in right now where you know we're having issues with the white and we could really use another tractor about the same size. And of course that was, <laughs> that was the Challenger, you know? We had the Challenger as a 100 horsepower four wheel drive, so. Uh, yeah, kind of kicking himself now for getting rid of it, but maybe, uh, maybe after this new Challenger two-wheel drive is, uh, is sold, we'll be able to, re you know, replace that with something kind of more similar to the white. Even that tractor would probably do all right on the mower, but he's got it all apart now, so can't use it anyway. So, anyway, I'm going to head back to the farm. I got one little piece of elf. Well, a little strip of alfalfa there that I missed when I started mowing. It kind of takes a little bit of figuring when you first get going, uh, you know, open up the field or whatever. So I just got to trim that little bit. And uh, I'm not sure what else we're going to get into. Just having a quick look at the blades here. I don't see any missing or anything. They all look pretty good still. I think you, a lot of you guys that are familiar with these, you know, Kubota and Vicon and Cavernland and tear up or whatever other names there on them. Uh, mowers, you guys know that these have three blades on them, on the turtles, instead of the conventional two, so it's a little bit different, but seems to be doing a great job cutting, uh, other, than the, <laughs> other than the spots that I missed. Let me try to fix that exposure there a little bit. There we go. So yeah, you can see I missed like there and there. That's just me screwing up trying to learn how to use the mower. But I mean, other than that, I think it looks like a pretty clean cut. Of course, the, the windrows are still here. So I mean, the truth will come out when we get it chopped and raked up. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Well guys, so ends the first day with the new mower and uh, well, that's not true. It's actually the second day. But uh, I've mowed four fields now with it, and I have to say I am pretty impressed with the whole center pivot uh, setup. Finally got the hang of it. Finally got into a rhythm with it, and uh, finally kind of got the feel for it. And yeah, quite pleased. Quite pleased with it. Um, hopefully. You know, durability-wise, it holds up for us. But yeah, I don't got a bad thing to say about it. So anyway, I guess uh, until next time, the sun's right in my eyes. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.